longest serving consort in history, one of the last surviving people in this country to have served in the Second World War, at Cape Matapan, where he was mentioned in dispatches for bravery, and in the invasion of Sicily, where he saved his ship by his quick thinking. And from that conflict, he took an ethic of service that he applied throughout the unprecedented changes of the post-war era. The expert carriage driver that he was, he helped to steer the royal family and the monarchy so that it remains an institution indisputably vital to the balance and happiness of our national life. We remember the Duke for all of this and above all for his steadfast support for Her Majesty the Queen. Not just as her consort, by her side every day of her reign, but as her husband, her strength and stay of more than 70 years. And it is to Her Majesty and her family that our nation's thoughts must turn today, because they have lost not just a much loved and highly respected public figure, but a devoted husband and a proud and loving father, grandfather, and in recent years, great-grandfather.